Shamrock Rovers' stuttering start to the season has left the door to the Premier Division title ajar. Most feel Derry City are the side best equipped to capitalise. And as Stephen Bradley's men kick off at Oriel Park tonight, Derry will get underway here with a not insignificant seven-point advantage over the four in a row chasers. Derry will also, of course, have an eye on the one side above them, Bohemians, now, of course, under the guidance of former Derry boss Declan Devine, who's made a very encouraging start round Daly Mount Way. Evan Caffrey Gavin Malloy, Cousins in that Shelburne midfield. That one might run through here, nearly chance here for McGonagall around the goalkeeper. And off the line by the returning Paddy Barrett. Well, that's the sharpness of Jamie McGonagall onto this one in a flash. Oh, it certainly was. Luke Bourne just switches off here. Really was the first big statement from Derry City when they signed that pre-contract agreement to bring him and Duffy back. It's patching to step forward. Good strike as well. And a flying save from Connor Kearns. Oh, great technique this dance from Will Patchen. Look at the movement of that ball. Really controlled shot. Hit with pace. With the real intensity. But Derry City have just got that ball down. And dominating the last few minutes. And there's the lead goal. In at the back post yet again is Ryan Graydon, and he makes this one count. Shelburne nil, Derry City won. Well, we just spoke about him a couple of minutes previously. There's an opportunity from another corner. Said he won't be kicking himself. He didn't do any better, make a better contact, but said he won't be kicking himself after this. Still remember his moment for the Ireland 20, under 21s against uh, the Italians in Tala when he dinked it over uh, an opposition player's head halfway out of his own half. Moylan, great take on the inside, he's into the penalty area. Tight angle, Moylan checks back, can he finish? Well, he's been denied, Chad still there, and Levy's blazed it over from six yards out. Well, a big save from Brian Maher initially after a brilliant run from Jack Moylan. But Levy left cursing his luck, he couldn't finish the loose ball. Oh, this is the individual quality which he has, Jack Moylan finds the shoe, hit, chops on the end. Look at Keane Levy looking for the ball now. Percy Dez, I think that's the ball he should have played rather than take the shot on. Uh, look at that scoreline now, Lee Grace has added to a Rory Gaffney goal, we understand Robbie Benson has been red carded, it's all happening at Oriel. Shamrock Rovers look on course at least for now for their first win of the season, Patching slips it inside, a chance but over the bar from Ollie O'Neill. A oh, lovely link up play from Derry to get him in there, couldn't find the finish to add to his goal earlier in the season at UCD. Now the left foot of Wilson or the right of Farrell, two good options. It's Tyreek Wilson on, a little touch from Moylan. Just changed the trajectory, good reactions from Brian Mark. Yeah, really clever free kick against from Shells. Real kind of creativity on their delivery this evening. Big second half showing and also maybe looking for this torrential rain to stop in about 45 minutes' time. <laughs> only a trickle, Des. It's only a trickle. And Paddy Barrett penalised here for a coming together with Jamie McGonagall. How far away you parked? <laughs> Just across my own pit and put, uh, pitch and putt club. There's set a, set a few course records down there in my time back in the day. Now the yellow card, a little delayed in coming out, but it has come out. 10 euros, there's they're charging over there, and I am for a car park spot. No chance. I'm parked on the side of the, the side of the road. I think they saw you coming. Double yellow. Instead, it's something more direct. McGonagall, the towering defensive header. Owen Levy has turned into a dangerous area there. And those uh, defensive reactions of Mark Coyle, crucial. Yeah, typical of him. That's why he's such a pivotal player. In this Shelburne team, I love his reaction as well, Desmond. He gets uh, put on his backside, just bounces up, picks himself up straight away. That's the type of character that, that he is. No nonsense. The yellow card, oh, no, no, no. Damien probably complained about the nature of that tackle, but he yeah. read the situation great. You're right, Keane Levy torn into trouble, got this possessed. And Derry were caught late at Pats in the opening game of the season. They'll be anxious to avoid that fate. Patching drops one over the top. It's awkward for Griffin McGonagall, lovely take. Still McGonagall, options left and right. He's gone for Doherty. And Connor Kearns with a big smothering save to keep Shelburne in this one. Certainly is a great save, a lot better save than it looks, has to get off his line quickly here, Des. 
Took a point, of course, up in Derry. Already in this campaign, Robinson nicks a little pass to Matty Smith. One good delivery needed. Might come to the edge here. Penalty appeals. Penalty appeals. But the only whistle that Shelburne will hear is the final whistle. And the boos ring around the ground. It was Kyle Robinson, the Shelburne player, involved. But there is no late penalty for Shelburne. It's three points for Rory Higgins, for the departing Alan Reynolds and for Derry City. And it's the win that takes them top tonight. Hard earned, though.